Sheik. Uh, Sheik is not getting any real good treatment, but you know, I was having a discussion a little earlier. I think, I think history tends to rhyme at any case, and Sheik has always been fairly good just because of her mobility or combo potential. She just doesn't have the damage. I think it, I think Sheik can still be a really, really crazy character. Even though I don't see Sheik because everyone dropped her, I just, I just don't believe that there isn't something there. You know, but there are just better characters running around right now, so it's much easier to just say, "Hey, well, she does suck." You know? I think the big problem with Sheik in particular is that other characters can do what she does while also retaining like good kill like properties and stuff like that. Like Wolf is a good example. He, he still has the fair strengths and like the good frame data yeah. to be able to, like that a lot of characters don't have. And uh, Sheik does have that frame data too, but it doesn't quite work out. But actually, that last set. Worked out pretty quickly. Chikamu is going to be fighting Chag right now. We got the Inkling versus the Zero Suit. Oh, yeah. It's only appropriate that we get all this Samus play before Prime Saga. All right. So it's Chag and Jaymu. Okay, back throw. Not going to be able to set up anything, though. But yeah, I feel like just in general, Inkling's arrows are very quick and they can intercept an air to air combat very easily. So it might be difficult for Zero Suit to really move around that. Yeah, as opposed to the Wario Magic that we just saw, Inkling has a lot of mobility on the ground. It's going to be able to kind of make do with the range advantage that Zero Suit still has over Inkling. Oh, the chat block. Yep. I love that. I love that. That was so good. Didn't yep. go for the obvious forward smash, decided to, oh, love it. Yeah, very smart. Uh, Inkling in general, um, because they very maintain, maintains like whatever uh, hit stun and mobility that they're gonna achieve if they just got hit by it straight, you can set up into tech chase situations very nicely those mid percent because a lot of things like back air, forward oh. air, weak forward air, they set up into tech chase situations and that leaves a guaranteed rollage because they have to roll, get up attack or something instead. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> so much often coverage. Okay, trying to catch up the, the plasma. Oh my god, that actually intercepted him, and he's able to get the chase, but great match actually coming from the combo. Not going to be able to be susceptible to that up smash quite yet. Yeah, and Shaq has actually shown a lot of uh, a lot of competence when it comes to using his splat grenade. He's been catching Jaymu a lot, actually. I'd say he has around like a 70% success rate so far. It's only been, what, two minutes in? Oh, good recovery, however. I like that down B. A lot of times you try to intercept them, and sometimes the very hitbox comes out first before you can do anything. Back throw, that should be a free kill. Yes, it will. Stepping on toes with those steel toe boots. Oh, good cross up, however. That really made Jaymu think. Just a full hop to get out of the way, but that allowed Shaq to be able to still chase. And we got the backer set up into a quick booyah. Gonna get 51% right there. Booyah? Is that what they call it? Yeah. Okay. Booyah. You know what they say in Splatoon? Always booyah back. Booyah. Oh, trying to get that uh, that punish with the MB, not quite making it work. And that's one of the things about it, it's a caveat. It's a very strong move, it will kill you for sure, but if you mess up, oh boy. Once again, oh boy. Oh, not quite killing him though. Yeah, still gonna be able to make it back. Oh, and a reversal actually. Very yeah. similar to how Lynx, you see, come back with the upbeat, just reverse it first before they come back to the ledge. Mm. Well, that was kind of a in the pocket way for him to be able to take the stock, and now he's still got two to work with against Chag, so we'll have to see how he tries to bring this and close it around. Yeah, the biggest benefit. Uh, yep, that's a death. Woo. Yeah, you gotta air dodge those. I don't know if Chag necessarily is trying to the where it might be true, because I know that is a possibility, but I feel like for the most part, what I've seen at high percent, you can just air dodge out of Booyah. It's just the fear that that up throw presents that sometimes it makes you not want to do it. Yeah, because sometimes they don't they don't always have to go for the up air. They can't just sit there and wait for you and then, eh? well, you just air dodge and now I'm really going to up air you. So I'm not for us sure if that was absolutely true, but still, that was a quick do stock for Jack, actually. Trying to move on to loser semis and take uh, move out of here. I've heard some people say that um, Booyah, there's only like one frame difference between it being really true and not being true. One frame? <laughs> That's... It, it's very tight, I will say that. There's some breathing room with only one frame, I'd say. You're gonna get a lot of advantage. Oh, these parries, though. Yeah, uh, Chak seems to be very proficient at, you know, reading the timing of aerials to be able to get parries. He was doing that before in earlier sets, too, so... 
Oh, and that jab is so strong. Like if you if you catch them at a, on a ledge and they are not falling off of that ledge, you're going to get a ground like 18% and ink on top of it. I like how he doesn't necessarily go for up air into like finisher. He just tries to go for up air and then gets like a nair or something to try and establish stage control again, put them on stage into a good position where he can just try to ledge trap. Not quite happening here and that grab not quite working out. I hear a lot of inkling mains talking about that grab. <laughs> they don't like it. Yeah, Xcal put out a tweet saying please fix inkling trap. And yeah, that, that was a pretty pitiful grab range if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, punishable. Oh, okay, the down tilt out of shield. Uh, is that frame five? Uh, it, it looks around frame five. It didn't quite connect. Alright, boots kick. Still not gonna be able to take the kill, and yeah, just a high recovery. Great parry though. That's gonna be able to punish that with the boost kick. Now Chikamu's gonna be up the stock. Only 66%. Pretty reasonable. Oh, okay. Okay. Trying to get a little bit of a ledge trap going on with that down tilt, but uh, not quite working. He got punished for it. Okay, I like that from Jack. Didn't press the button, so he wasn't susceptible to the whip. He was able to drift back to the ledge. That's fine. Oh, there's that punish. Wave landing onto the platform here. Oh, not quite getting the punish there. No falling up there, unfortunately, so not gonna work out there. Yeah, Jamie looking comfy. Okay. And they're not seeming to really convert into a whole lot, especially with that DI being the way that it is uh, when it comes to this percentage. Ah, uh, ah, okay, 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 okay. Kind of delaying the down B, but getting a lot of reward for doing it. Uh, yeah, that second hitbox of the down air. Okay, how does he get back to the stage? And I see, I see a little bit of a difference in how Chag is starting to uh, approach with these ledge trap options here. But is it a little too late? I don't know. Ah, the whiff. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, if you're mashing super hard, you can't escape it if you didn't quite cancel it immediately. And you try to get into the right space for it, but it didn't quite happen there. But that backer will be able to close it out. Jack, I mean, we've seen him do 3 1 comebacks before, so we'll have to see how this works. I'm telling you, he catches, uh, he catches Jamie with that bomb all the time. Or at least when, he, when it comes to his ledge trapping options. Yeah, I mean, the way the arc gets sense is the easy to be able to intercept down B. But we'll have to see Chag. Trying to get that back air. Not much else, though. He gets ah. intercepted in the air to air. That up air does have very wide coverage. Is he going to finish it off? He decides to go for the back air, it looks like. Not much else, though. <laughs> death. Oh, I'm surprised that's not death. Yeah, that was my bad, actually. I thought it was almost guaranteed. But it, it, looked like he got a, it looked like he got a sour spot. He didn't get the, the flames out of it. Yeah, up in the air, goes for a second one. He has that platform extension, so he does not present that opportunity. Oh, not quite getting these punishes that Tag needs here. Ooh, almost, almost got the DVD logo. Ah! Not gonna be able to find anything. Yeah, just dashes underneath. That's what I'm talking about, zero suit speed. Even if she makes a mistake, she's able to reposition herself where she can potentially get a reversal, even though she put herself in a bad spot. Yep. If you, if there's one hit being thrown out, expect the second one. Always. But you know, I gotta say, I respect Chag as a player. He's so good. But these punishes, uh, he missed a lot of punish opportunities. Alright, we're going back. Inkling and Zero Suit. Game three. This is only losers quarters, not losers semi, so it is only a best of three. So this is our last game here for these two players here. Potentially. Alright, and uh, Chag choosing to, uh, Chag opting for Town and City, interesting. Alright, how does he get back from the Town and City platform? These blasters are kind of difficult, they're very similar to Lilat in that you can kind of play Whack-A-Mole underneath and catch him trying to come back to the stage uh, in between the platforms. A lot harder to get killed off uh, by side B as well, or uh, up B as well. I guess side B also counts because they can't kill off the top. I'm liking these uh, these dash cancel up tilts as well from uh, Chag. Yeah, it's a good way to keep your opponent up in the air, especially if you don't think you can quite land the grab. And I guess a mobile character like Zerusu, where they want to be in the air as well, it's very convenient tool to have. Yeah, it does double duty. It's able to hit on the ground. Oh, not quite killing yet. Yeah, thanks, Town City. But yeah, it does double duty. 
Uh, I'd say be just because it's able to hit people on the ground, and it's also a good anti-air move, and uh, we know Jaymu likes to jump around. Trying to go for a dare set up into an up air, it looks like. Not quite able to find them yet. Jaymu has some opportunity to come back, and wow, I like that. The paralyzed here to the kick flip to reposition himself into a good position. Oh, yeah, and Chag really trying to establish his ground here. There we go, there's that punish. Yeah, Takamu just kind of wincing like, okay, I got hit by that. So, we'll move on to the next stock potentially. Yeah, at this point, who hasn't gotten hit by a roller? Oh, okay, up to the Nair. That was kind of cool. Oh, so much shield pressure every time. Zerasu, uh, not the greatest out of shield options. She does have up B, but it's kind of committal, so if you do shield it, then you kind of get a free punish. And Jack yeah. doing that to his advantage. He's using like a double Nair, and he's doing like back airs. And you can see Jakamu, he's trying to do full hops to get out of pressure instead, but he doesn't really go for the reversal on those aerials. Like, uh... Like other characters can, but I'm I'm seeing this nice safe damage coming out of uh, Jamu. At least at this percentage, where a lot of things are negative on him. Oh, but I, I gotta say, I did see uh, at least in the last game, I saw a lot of Chag changing up his options when it came to the ledge, both coming to the ledge and a pro and uh, punishing Jamu for coming back to the ledge as well. Okay, trying to hit with that back air. Back. Okay, I guess that parry. Yeah. That's all I'm talking about. If your character is kind of linear on how they land in an aerial, then it makes it suddenly very easy to parry. This is like the same the, bane that most four characters have. Like with the Captain Falcon Nair. It's like, oh, he's got to approach only one way. Oh, man. I, I, I saw the defensive option from Jamu trying to just full hop the place there. Uh, it looked like he was trying to drift a little bit to get out of the way of... Uh, ooh. He does have Good a starting up. hitbox for that up B, so I think he might have tried to just get away from that, but I'm not 100% sure. Could have been a miss but for all I know. You said it has a starting hitbox as well? Yeah. So that's it has a starting... People, yeah, that's how a lot of people get hit get, get by, the, by the up B as well. And it has a landing really? one as well. Yeah, that's interesting. I thought it only had a landing one. Okay, got that grenade. The splat bomb. Ah, okay, you know that... It would have been really nice if that splat bomb had, like, covered her completely, but it... All right, all of a sudden we're in a last stock scenario. Let's see how both of these two bring things around. Because either of these two could really get a big conversion just like that. Dare into dash attack. But the jab block uh, does not get the roller afterwards. Yeah, he, the last time he got that accomplished, he was able to, he, he waited a little bit longer. Oh, up air, got a potential chase on the platform. He tries to go for it. He's not able to quite come into fruition there. Oh, uh, almost got the downer. Okay, there's that grab. Yep. yep, finally. Yep, yep. great stuff. Mm -hmm. Check. Oh, 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 oh,